Today started out as the best day of my life. Back here tonight, first show's at seven. Yes! Woohoo! You know, everybody's gonna have something to say about the the Black American representation in media because it's, su it's such a scarcity. There's such a lack of it. When one thing comes out that represents Black people and jazz and it's animation and it's the first time in 30 years and it may be the last time for another 10, 15 years, 30 years, it has to bear the weight of every single thing. a lot of my experience. The essence of the main character, his hands in particular, a mind, which was amazing to see come to life. You have this technology that can take someone's essence and these animators who are so skilled at creating someone's essence. zone exists. The zone is something that is an expression that is beyond your control. And you are just completely the vessel for that expression. You're no longer the maestro. And I think that surrender that happens is something we've all experienced in life, whether you're a musician or not, we've experienced it. I mean, it's simple things in life you can be in the zone where it just feels like something bigger than you. And not to say other music is like fast food, but when you eat fast food, sometimes it's made to be perfect, this perfect blissful experience when you first bite into it. But then after a while, you start to feel kind of, sometimes you regret your decision. Um, and jazz is the opposite of that. It's not necessarily an acquired taste, but it's something that is deep to where you can listen to the same thing a thousand times and hear something new. Cut it, go for it. I wanted to make sure that we got it right, that we got the 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 music right and we got the the performance and the the spirit of the sacred lineage of jazz right, because this is a rare opportunity to introduce it. What movie has has come out in the last? 50 to 75 years, almost the last century, that has included the full range of the 20th century of African-American music and accurately represented jazz in performance. And I think that jazz has a way of almost bringing people back home. When you hear it, I played jazz at protest and it's not like playing rap music or rock and roll music, jazz and traditional spiritual hymns and songs like that, songs of freedom and chants like that, they have a different resonance in a time of protest. And they have a different way of reaching people and enlivening their consciousness. When you hear a song, ain't gonna let nobody turn me round, turn me round, turn me round. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me round. When you hear that, when you hear that song, ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. And you hear it in the jazz context with like boom, ding, 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 ding. And we all got our fists in the air. I'm talking about like thousands of people. At certain points during this pandemic, during the first wave, we put our life on the line and protested for George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and basically wanted to bring music into that conversation that was, have, that was being had across the world. Social music is my reimagining of what music is in the um, 
in the contemporary world, music that can create love, joy, and community. And I don't think about the future unless I have to. I think each day has enough into its own to deal with. And I feel that people oftentimes over plan and don't leave room for themselves to, to hear the call of the spirit in their life. And it doesn't give you that magic that we all want, that zone. We wanna be in that space.